Recent Ukrainian advances near small settlements in the Donetsk Zaporizhia region border area and in western Zaporizhia region are likely tactically significant because of the structure of Russian defensive lines, says the Institute for the Study of War in its latest assessment. Ukrainian Colonel Petro Chernik stated on the 15th of August that the three echelon Russian defensive line in southern Ukraine is comprised of a first line of minefields stretching several kilometers deep, then the second line with artillery equipment and personnel concentration, and then the third line of rear positions meant to preserve resources. And recent Ukrainian advances north and northeast of Robotene, which is situated here about 10 kilometers south from Orihiv in western Zaporizhia region, may allow Ukrainian forces to begin operating in the areas past the densest minefields. If the areas around the second Russian line of defense are less heavily mined, then they would likely be more conducive to more rapid Ukrainian gains. The Institute for the Study of War says it has no ability to assess the density or depth of Russian minefields. Russian forces have dedicated significant effort, resources and personnel to hold settlements such as Robotene and Orozhaina, and recent Ukrainian advances in these areas are therefore likely reflective of a wider degradation of defending Russian forces. Now, the lack of Russian operational reserves meant that Russian forces will have to reinforce certain areas of the front in the expense of others, likely weakening Russian defensive lines in aggregate and offering Ukrainian forces opportunities for exploitation.